to homeopathy and health today we will discuss about the totality of symptoms the concept totality of symptoms is peculiar to homeopathy the totality of one's mental physical emotional symptoms reflects the whole of his health it is precisely this totality of symptoms that homeopathy treats treating the patient as a whole person rather than simply treating one condition symptom organ or vital system is what makes homeopathy a truly holistic system homeopathy teaches to treat the individual with the disease and not his diseased parts alone totality is not the sum total of symptoms it is the logical combination of the symptoms which characterizes the person as well as individualizes the problem thus all the symptoms which are classified and evaluated the signs and symptoms presented by the patient from the former healthy state to the diseased condition are to be considered before we select the remedy utility of totality of symptoms helps in building of portrait of disease helps in repetition of the case helps in selection of similimum helps in better understanding of drug picture sources of totality of symptoms from the patient himself from his attendants and relatives from the observation of the physician and examination findings from the past personal social history habits and family grounds let us see what pioneers had defined on totality of symptoms according to hanneman Dr. Hanneman introduces the concept of totality of symptoms in the aphorism 7, aphorism 18 and in many others. In aphorism 7, totality of symptoms which are outwardly reflected picture of internal essence of the disease that is of the affection of vital force. Aphorism 7 and aphorism 18 are the major aphorisms in the concept of totality of symptoms. the totality of symptoms also mentioned in some aphorisms also such as 15 16 17 22 24 25 27 and 70 symptoms are classified as common and uncommon in uncommon symptoms generals pqrs and particular pqrs symptoms means peculiar qualified rare symptoms in generals mentals and physicals particular symptoms contains location sensation and modalities concept of bony hessen bony hessen states that totality of symptoms not only some total of symptoms but one grand symptom the symptom of the patient and that whether the individual parts of the symptom we are considered or the grand symptom in totality four factors must be present location sensations modality and concomitants in location the part organs or tissues involved in the disease process sensations pain sensation functional or organic change characterizing the morbid process in modality aggravation or amelioration in addition Bony Hassan emphasizes the special value of concomitants in the selection of similar remedy. The concomitant symptom is to the totality what the condition of aggravation or amelioration is to the single symptom. It is the differentiating factor. These are the seven categories of Bony Hassan's concept. Quis change of personality and individuality. Quid peculiarities of disease. Ub seat of the disease. Cubus oxalis concomitant. cure cause of disease quimodo modalities and quando time modalities concept of james taylor kent kent says the totality of symptoms means a great deal it is wonderfully a broad thing dr j t kent expands and explain the concepts based on the teaching of the master aphorism number 17 removal of the totality of the symptom is actually the removal of the cause if the causes are not removed from beginning to end the disease can reproduce itself 
the totality cannot be removed without removing the cause. According to Dr. Kent, symptoms are classified as mental generals, physical generals, and particulars. In mental generals, will and emotion, intellect and understanding, memory. In physical generals, first grade, menstrual symptoms, urination, effects of cohesion and discharge. In second grade, appetite, thirst, aversion and desire of food. In third grade, general aggravation and amelioration, stool, things affecting the entire body, weather, temperature, food, positions, motions, etc. And symptoms of special senses. In particulars, symptoms related to the parts, that is, locations, sensation, modalities and concomitant. According to concept of Boger, Boger has also explained the totality of symptoms similar to that of Bonnie Hassan. Concept of Stuart Close According to Close, the totality of symptoms means first the totality of each individual symptom, location and modality. Totality of the symptoms means all the symptoms of the case which are capable of logically combined into a harmonious and consistent whole having form, coherency and individuality. Totality must express in an idea, diagnostic idea and therapeutic idea. Concept of H.A. Robert The totality is that concrete form which the symptoms take when they are logically related to each other and stand forth. Individuality recognizable by anyone who is familiar with the symptomatic forms and lineaments of drugs and diseases. Concept of Richard Hughes The totality of the symptoms is to therapeutist, the disease. From the above concepts, we can say that understanding the concept totality of symptoms forms the basis of successful homeopathic prescription. All the properties of the patient are to be collected and arranged in such a way that a logical comprehension of the cases became feasible. The drug also has to be selected by considering all the parameters used to form the totality. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for upcoming videos.